This is the NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti. It's a four gigabyte video card originally released in 2016. It actually sips so little power that it doesn't even require any PCI connectors from the PSU. It just directly plugs into the PCI lanes on the motherboard. So with Tarkov being a CPU heavy title, I wanted to see just how far a 7800X3D could carry this 1050Ti in 2024 in Tarkov version 0.14. So I tested the different FSR settings and ultimately decided to stay on ultra performance for this video card. It's obviously not as visually pleasing as using a better GPU here. But in terms of playability and competitiveness, I didn't feel that I was at much of a disadvantage at all. There is a bit of flashing for objects in the distance, as you can see clearly here. When you scope in though, the image becomes clear. And for the cost of this GPU, I'm not really complaining. But if the budget's tight and you still want to play, I think this example shows that you can get by with a lower end GPU, as long as you have the right CPU for this game. As I continue my grind here for Pureology, I've added the option to become a Pureology Pro member. That means you'll receive one priority video request every two weeks and get some emojis and special shout outs and things like that. It's just a way for you to support the channel if you're interested and you will get a priority video request available every two weeks and those priority video requests will be turned around within three days. Whether or not you decide to join, you're part of the Pureology family. I appreciate you being here. Thanks for watching my stuff. I hope it's helpful, entertaining, or informative in some way. And this is where I'll drop off, let the rest of the footage play, and I'll see you in the next one. Ugh. <sighs>